it's the story of some lovely ladies who were serving in Relief Society. All of them were stuck at home due to COVID. That's the way they became the Lady Bunch. The Lady Bunch. The Lady Bunch. That's the way they became the Lady Bunch. Do 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 do. <laughs> Hello, 13th Ward. No, we are not the Lady Bunch. We are the New Relief Society Presidency. We've had some changes, so we want to introduce ourselves to you. I am Karen Parkinson, and I'm the Relief Society President. I've lived here in the ward for almost 10 years and been in this calling for just over two years. Hi, I'm Lizzie Mauer, and I've only been in the ward for about six months. Hi, I'm Whitney Moores, and I've been in the ward for about a year. You probably recognize my name as the person who used to set up your ministry interviews. I'm Jessica Sondheimer. I'm the Relief Society Secretary, and I've been in the ward for about a year and a half. Okay, it's great to have these uh, ladies working together now. Lizzie is one of the counselors, Whitney is the other counselor, and we don't have Brittany Barney here, but she is the ministering secretary. She'll be calling you to make interviews. Um, many of you have been wondering and asking me when we are going to gather together again. That's something that we don't know. It won't come until COVID cases go down, but fortunately, we as members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints know that gathering means more than just getting together physically. Um, the work of gathering is the work of helping others come into Christ and gather safely into the stakes of Zion. In October 2018, President Nelson made a prophetic plea to sisters in the church to help gather scattered Israel on both sides of the veil. He said this gathering is the greatest challenge, the greatest cause, and the greatest work on the earth today. Participating in this work of gathering can be done by all of us right now, regardless of whether we meet in person or not. We're all children of our loving Heavenly Father and that he has a plan for each of us. We all have a Savior that suffered and died so that we can return to be with him someday. We're so blessed to have the good news of the gospel, and we've been given the responsibility of gathering our brothers and sisters by sharing the gospel and the love of the Savior. In the April 2003 General Conference, President Russell M. I'm Russell Ballard taught, member missionary work does not require the development of strategies or gimmicks or tricks. It does require faith, real faith and trust in the Lord. It also requires genuine love. The first great commandment is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. The second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So let the power of love guide us and share the gospel with family, friends and neighbors, business associates, and any other people we encounter as we go through life. Most everyone wants to enjoy peace and happiness. That is a natural human desire. People want to find answers to the problems they face, and this is increasingly true in the world we now live in. President Nelson said, anytime you do anything that helps anyone on either side of the veil, take a step toward making covenants with God and receiving their essential baptismal and temple ordinances, you are helping gather Israel. Even though we're unable to go to the temple right now, there are many things we can do to help gather the Lord's children. One important thing we can do is family history work. By doing family history work, not only are we coming closer to our ancestors, but we're also helping God's children get closer to being able to make those important covenants with God and be able to live with him again. As Lizzie and Whitney have taught us, there are many ways we can further the work of gathering. Heavenly Father has blessed us in this digital age with tools to help. For example, instead of meeting in person, we can use video chat technology, such as Zoom or FaceTime, to have meaningful conversations that draw us closer to Christ. We can use the church's Book of Mormon videos or other online church materials to teach in our homes. We can support struggling family members and friends with phone calls and encouraging text messages. We can also serve those on the other side of the veil by indexing and doing family history work from our home computers. During this time when forces beyond our control prevent us from physically gathering together, 
we can still help others feel the love of our Savior using the technology that we have been given. Thank you. So, brothers and sisters, the challenge that we have for you is to prayerfully find ways to reach out to others in this great spirit of gathering. Share your hope and faith in the Savior. Do the work which will pave the way for others to receive the ordinances of the gospel and follow the guidance of the Spirit as you reach out, ministering to other members of the ward. We think of you always, sisters. We miss you too. And we pray for you always. Have a great week. We love you. Bye. Bye.